In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert option buttons in Excel so that we shall set up an interactive dashboard to view our records. In here, we have food categories in column A and in column B, we have the food items and in column C, we have the percentage of proteins of those food items. You can notice that in column A, we got only three food categories for which we are going to create a dashboard by inserting option buttons in here. So the dashboard will list out the food items based on the order of protein percentages upon selecting the food categories in the option buttons. To set up the option buttons in here, just select the developer tab in the main menu. If the developer tab is not available in the main menu, then to get it, we need to select the file options. So select the file and click on the options over there. So you will get this window where you can set up your customized ribbon. So now you just click on customize ribbon option in here. So that will take you to this window where we can add the developer tab into our customized ribbon. So just select the tab in here, make sure the checkbox is enabled and click OK. Now you will get this developer tab in your main menu. So to insert the option buttons in here, I click on developer tab. So once I click on developer tab, I will get this ribbon where I need to find the controls group and select the insert icon. So once I select insert icon, I will get the form controls and now I need to select this option button icon. So once I select it, I will get the control to insert the option button. So now I'm inserting it. So now I have inserted the first option button, which you can see it comes with the label option button one. So now I'm going to rename it with the first food category, which is diary. So I just deleted the name, default name, and I have entered D-A-I-R-Y. So now I'm going to make another option button by making a right click, copy and paste it. So now this is the second option button, which comes with the same label of the first one. So I need to rename this with the second option button name. So I just delete this diary and I'm going to rename it as produce. So produce is my second category of food, which is going to be the second option box. So P-R-O-D-U-C-E. So I have done it. So now for the third category, I just make a right click and copy and paste it again. So now I got the third option button. So this is again with the label of produce. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to delete this label and I'm going to name it as snacks. So which will be my third option. So for the dashboard, so these are the three option buttons I'm going to have as the food categories. So now I have named the third option button as well. So now you can see all the three buttons, option buttons have been created. Now the next step is to create a link between the data and these three option buttons to have our dashboard. For that, the first step, I'm going to create a data preparation. So I'm going to label in D1 and where I'm going to set up the connection through cell E1. So to have a reference, I'm just keying in the name data preparation. So this is where I'm going to refer, which means that I'm going to refer the cell E1 as a reference value so that I can create a connection between these three buttons with the data. So now I make a right click on any of the button and go to form control. So once I click on form control, I will get this window where I can create the link. So this is where I need to select the cell through which I'm going to create the link. So E1 is the cell, I have selected it and I click OK. So now you can see it automatically provides the value of the option buttons. So if I click on diary, it will display as one. And if I select produce, it will be two. And if I select the third option button snacks, the value will be three. So now it will be an easy process for me to apply a function and get connected with the data by using this cell value in E1. So now the next step for me is to retrieve the data by categories of food. So now for that, I'm going to use filter function. So I just press equals and I key in filter. So the filter is the function I'm going to use in. So here I need to select the array which I need to bring it out. 
so i just select the item and the protein percentage so which will be my array so i have selected the cells in column b and c and i go with the second argument the second argument is the category so where i have the values already so i have selected the category so this must be equal with the cell value in e1 so for that i go with another function which is switch where i have three options so i have applied switch function in here so this is the expression which i need to select the cell e1 the expression is in e1 so i have selected the cell e1 and now i go with the options so the first value will be one obviously if i select diary so the value will be diary i need to key in within double quotes so diary is the first option if it is selected one will be the answer so then it will find out in column b and c so now i go with the second one the value will be two and i need to key in the second category so the second category is produce so i directly key in as produce within double quotes so i just give a comma and i go with the third value which is three and the value for the third option is snacks so i just key in as snacks within double quotes so now i have completed to enter the switch function and i'm going to close the filter function as well so now if i enter i will get the values as in the selection of cell e1 now i press enter key to check out the results of filter function so now you can find the results have been retrieved based on the selection i do in the option buttons in here so if i select diary it retrieves the food items and the percentages of diary category so now to create the dashboard i'm going to insert the chart in here so i move on to the tab there to select the insert before that i select the data in here so these are the data which has been retrieved now i have made the selection i click on insert tab and i move on to recommended charts in here i go with the option of all charts and i select the bar chart option so the bar chart is the one which i have wanted to place it in my dashboard i just i click ok and i minimize the chart size to be suited with the options i have in here so this is the chart and i'm going to change the title of the chart so i want this to be as protein percentage so i just copy the same title in here and i'm going to paste it in here so this chart is all about percentage of protein so now if i do changes in the option buttons in here i can also see the changes in the chart so the one problem in here i could notice is it is not sorted so let us go back to the formula and insert sort function just after equal symbol means we need to place the filter function inside the sort function so now i have keyed the sort function and opened it so now you can see the whole filter function has been placed as the first argument value for sort function so now we move on to the second argument where we need to provide the sort index value which mean that on which column number the sorting must be done so here the second column is our value which is protein percentage so i key in 2 as the value and i go with the third argument where i need to select the order of sorting so i go with 1 which i need as to be ascending order so i just close the sort function now and i enter so i just enter here you can see the changes the sort function has been applied and the data is all sorted so now you can see the dashboard is ready and pretty good that we can do selection based on the categories by using our option buttons in here and we can see the dashboard works so this is how we insert option buttons in excel for creating an interactive dashboard